guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode one of Reborn as a Vending Machine. I now wonder in the Dutch. <laughs> okay, one, we, we gotta talk about this name. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, there are a lot of names, but they could, you know, they could have picked. I've seen a lot of names for Isekai's. You, you wonder how just when you see that title, you'd be like, mm, how longer can they get? What is the longest isekai title out of all the isekais? I mean, I, we need to know that. We, research. Research. <laughs> but I, honestly, I, this was not on my, well, no, 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 no. Let, let's talk about this first. So when I saw the trailer for this, like, what, sometime last year when this was announced at first? I had no, no idea, I like, of course, and then looked into it and I was like, okay, Isekai, whatever. And I was like, okay, so whoever is in this is whoever is in this and such. And so, uh, this was not on my, like, oh, I would definitely watch this or whatever, up until a couple of days ago. And literally looking at out of context pictures with no, nothing of no knowledge of this show, there was this one picture that I saw of, of course, our main heroine lifting the vending machine. And so when I was adding the pictures on my tweet, in the back of my mind, I was like, what the absolute F is going on this show? This girl can lift the vending machine. I've never even seen a person lift a vending machine. What the fuck is going on? But, you know, hey. Now, once again, the muscly girls are making a comeback. <laughs> so, of course, most of you guys and some of you girls are very probably happy about that. But other than that, it's got to get started on episode one in three, two, one, go. Well, dang, we just start. Okay. That does not sound like him. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh okay, now that's his voice. Yeah, but still, there are points. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like, do you have like infinite supply of stuff as well?
Oh, he only gets a limited hundred count of the corn soup and the water? Oh. Okay. Yeah. But my thing is, how the fuck are you going to move around? <laughs> <laughs> Me when I'm at work moving a big ass box. <laughs> Milk tea. Hmm. Yeah. I, I feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, babe. Oh. Well, I mean, yeah, you're you isekai baby, so of course magic is gonna work. Oh god, he called his friends. Oh my god. <laughs> One meme of the fight back. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go especially with the lab there we freaking go now i know it's him so <laughs> it's like so used to him playing a certain character and then going into this you're like damn that does not sound like him <laughs> Well, hopefully, you know, your fancy might find you. She coming. She just taking her time.
That should be her, right? Yep, there she is! Hi, baby. No, I mean, I think silver would be fine. Yeah, you, you can pass one now. But damn, you drink it too freaking much. Too fast. Hmm?
I don't know. Like, yes or no. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, no. Okay. She just said you're a little heavy, but she can manage. Ha <laughs> ha yeah, The best thing in the world. <laughs> And be like, what the heck did you bring with you? The vending machine. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's because it's not from here. Well, no, baby, like, you've been isekai, so you're in a different world and such. But, you know, just like in Don Machi, you gotta go into a dungeon and go fight things, right? And then you come back home for the day, and you, you do it all over the next day. Oh my god.
scared them though, so you know, A for effort. <laughs> Not another weird thing. Oh my god. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, Odin! Yeah, that's instructions. It looked good. <laughs> oh, oh, of course, because everybody <laughs> Not the stone, oh. I hope so too. Cause he just his little phrases with the yes or no's are like super adorable. But hopefully, like they get to communicate a lot more. Did 
This is so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> We're going into the year where we're getting a lot of fucking cute isekai types. Which I'm not mad at. I love it. You never really know what you're going to get in the really, like, not, well, okay. There, There's difference between, like, mm, well, let's go back to, what was that one show that I read to do, like, a couple of years ago? Um, was it, like, two, three years ago? I don't remember the name, but it was very, like, it was very pastel as colored. Um, hella cutesy and ish. I just, I, I couldn't finish it because, you know copyright duh but <laughs> um yeah going into another year of getting like or just a whole year of getting really cutesy as isekais with a female character is interesting but i also love when we're also getting like a female that is also isekai where it's somewhat badass or if it's a guy being isekai as like the item the vending machine a sword you know, it ain't gonna surprise me if somebody gets isekai into a fucking shield. Because, <laughs> once again, you never know what is going to happen. When, when someone's like, you know what, I want to create an isekai series. And instead of them being isekai and they are a person again, they are going to be turning into this. Like, it, it's literally, and the more I think about this, it's like pretty here. Really? The great duty bear? Yeah. Um, it's like pretty cute because like <laughs> <laughs> So okay, for example. Like we could talk about not this not the recent Hirogato because that that's that episode is depressing. Um or any any episode of Pretty Cure in a nutshell where either they're using a person as the monster of the week or they're using like a fire hydrant or a cell phone or a traffic light you're like oh, okay didn't think that would be the monster of the week but okay and, and that's what this is you know someone's just like i have an idea let's just take isekai and then you know they have like a roulette of all these different things that it could be and then they stop in that thing and then be like okay boom Vending machine! Oh my god! Yes! Let's roll with that! But it's okay, I love it. It's so freaking good. But this is also going into the <laughs> the dynamic of let's take two seiyus who have never been in a show together and then have them be in a show together and just make it work. And it always works. And it, it's so weird to have them because you're like... It, I would have never heard these two together. And it happens every single freaking time, in, whether it's an isekai or something else. And it's so freaking hilarious because then you're like, well, this one's always known for this. And, okay, for, for an example, Kaede Hondo. This girl has been in home uh, so many comedy series and such. And then you have like uh, Takto OP Destiny, which was like a very different series because, yes, she's always known for comedy. You had um, when she was in Project Tokyo Dolls and all this other things that she did before this show. And then you got to. <laughs> you got to fuck you like you know, Liz B. Britannia. This is like, um, what's the reason the child? <laughs> if we can persona, and, and it just works. It just works. <laughs> it works in a weird way, and I, I can't. It, you know what? I feel like it started with with fucking Senko and, and taking um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it started with Senko. That's where it started. <laughs> it really did. Because if you want to talk. <laughs> special wing and Archer would be in an anime together so once again you, you just never know who it's going to be paired as a duo in a show you never really know until you look at that cast and then you look to see okay well what have they been in and then you see what they're known for and you be like 
It just works. God just has mysterious science. You know, and same thing with the casting director. You'd be like, yes, these two would work well together. And you're just like, this is the weirdest fan fiction I've ever heard of. <laughs> it's still your on Twitter. And you're like, yeah, this is a thing. I fucking love it. Like, oh my God. <laughs> and Kaede Hondo went from fucking Maple <laughs> to Maple to freaking Aoi Yuki's wife in the, uh, the witch anime, isekai anime that I'm watching, and then, now this. <laughs> it's okay. She getting that coin. It, you know, but this is really good. It, it's slow a, a little bit of times, but I'm not mad at that because it seems like it's not the typical isekai where it's very much fast paced. Like, um... I gotta look it up because I don't remember the name of it, which is sad because I fucking love the show. Uh, no, no shit. Um, playlist. I'm about to cheat and literally go. No, 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 no. Reincarnate as a sword. Um with that because like <laughs> I can't with that I mean yeah you, you're taking the cat girl my adorable baby uh, and the sword and who would have fucking thought you just you, once again you never know you never fucking know but I mean like I said with reincarnate as a sword it was also kind of slow at points but then it was fast paced this is more like a slice of life typical isekai and i'm not mad at that i do also like that we're getting somewhat of those because i i, I like it when it's just like okay we're more homey type like yeah we're gonna go on this adventure for like maybe you know a certain amount of episodes and then we come home do something at home da -da -da -da. it's not always a it's not always like where you look at like pokemon or something else where they're always constantly traveling and then they never go back home and such and you maybe see someone quote unquote get homesick and ish but it's like one week can one week we can see them at home the next week we can see them going into like for kuma bear um into the main city something like that hanging out with someone who we haven't seen for a while now and such you just never freaking know but yeah i, I think this is interesting to have <laughs> once again a fucking vending machine um just don't be surprised if we get an isekai where someone's a scooter. Okay? We have a vending machine. Next is going to be a shield. And then next, you know, it's going to be a vending... I mean, not a vending machine. A fucking scooter. So, you can take that idea. It just... I, I'm calling it now. It's like, really... Because somebody's going to watch this. They're going to be like... You know? That's a good idea. Or, you know, you could do a fire hydrant. But then, you know... The fire hydrant can only really spit out water. A scooter... The scooter just moves, so it would be good for, and of course, if it's a FMC character, um, a main character and such, she can ride on the Vespa, so, yeah, or, see, now this is gonna make me wonder next, after I'm done watching, well, no, after I'm done recording this, and while this is editing, literally be like, hmm, yeah, what else could you turn into in, in a fucking isekai? <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is our reaction to towards episode one of Reborn as a vending machine. <laughs> Fuck it. I, I screwed it up. <laughs> episode one of Reborn as a vending machine. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single night. Join the match one. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday. Thank God this comes out on a day that I don't have to go to work. <laughs> But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!